history. In the graveyard of St. Peter's Church, Cockett, Swansea, is the World War I grave of Private 1904 Charles Norris of the 12th Battalion Australian Infantry. He enlisted into the Australian Imperial Force on the 6th January 1916 at Adelaide, and his place of birth was listed as Swansea, South Wales. His next of kin was given as his mother, Mrs. Norris, Lynn Street, Cumbulla, Swansea. The inscription on his memorial stone reads 1904 Private C. Norris, 12th Battalion, Australian Infantry, aged 22. The 12th Battalion was raised as part of the All-Volunteer Australian Imperial Force, AIF, within three weeks of the declaration of war in August 1914. They left Australia just two months later. Part of the 3rd Brigade, 1st Division was formed from recruits from Tasmania, South Australia and Western Australia. In late April, they were committed to the Gallipoli campaign. The 3rd Brigade was the covering force of the Anzac landing on 25th April 1915. After the initial landing, a stalemate developed around the beachhead. Private 1904 Norris arrived in Gallipoli on the 27th June 1915. In August, the Allies sought to break the deadlock by launching the August Offensive. As part of this, the 12th contributed two companies to the divisionary attack on Lone Pine. The offensive failed, but the campaign continued and the battalion remained on the Gallipoli Peninsula. On the 6th August 1915, Private Norris was wounded and taken to the field hospital, then evacuated to a hospital ship and eventually England. Unfortunately, on the 4th May 1916, at the age of 22, he was knocked down by a motor car in Weymouth and died of his injuries. The Army Records Casualty Search Form details the following. Son of William and Harriet Norris of Lynn Street, Cumbulla, Wales, born at Buenos Aires, Argentina. Private Charles Norris had a wife, Muriel Gladys Norris, who lived in Frome, Govett Street, Katoomba, New South Wales. It's possible that an agreement was made that if Private Norris should die, he'd be laid to rest in Swansea. In the 1920s, Private Charles Norris was awarded the following medals. World War I British War Medal, World War I 1914-15 Star, Victoria Medal Australia. These medals were given to his wife. A memorial scroll was given to his widow and his name included the Australian War Memorial. His widow wrote the following letter to the Australian Army. I also honour you for being desirous, for disposing to me such a valuable treasure of my dear late husband. I can assure you it'll be worth more me than gold, as he was the one and only comfort I had in my short married life, and I will honour it with the greatest of care for the love of one I loved and who sacrificed his life. I trust it'll give you the greatest pleasure of forwarding such an honourable gift. Thanking you sincerely. I remain yours sincerely, Mrs M. G. Norris. The name of Private 1904 Charles Norris, 12th Battalion, Australian Infantry is included in the Australian War Memorial. At Danagraig Cemetery, Portenant, Swansea, lies the World War I Commonwealth grave of Lance Corporal 32 Gordon Rankin Inglis of the 5th Battalion Infantry Australian Imperial Force. Why was Lance Corporal Inglis buried at Danagraig Cemetery? Following the outbreak of World War I, Australia began raising an all-volunteer force for overseas service almost immediately. Australia decided to raise new battalions as part of the Australian Imperial Force, AIF. The enthusiasm with which Australians volunteered at the start of the war meant that the 5th Battalion was raised within two weeks. After a period of just two months basic training, they left Australia and proceeded to Egypt, arriving on 2nd December 1914. A further period of training took place before the battalion was committed to the Gallipoli campaign. It took part in the landing at Anzac Cove on 25th April 1915 as part of the second wave. On the 26th April 1915, Lance Corporal 32 Gordon Rankin Inglis was shot through the chest and seriously injured. On the 30th of April 1915, he was taken to hospital in Alexandria 
and put on a ship with 850 others on board. There was only one doctor, no medical instruments, and a couple of army medics. A friend of his, Huey Blair, looked after him day and night, and it was Huey who got him on board the ship from the beach where he said he was in a dying condition. He was eventually taken off the ship and hospitalised in Alexandria, where he underwent three operations, but the bullet remained inside him. He was told by a doctor there would be no more fighting for him. On the 23rd September 1915, he was on board the hospital ship Karula for England. He eventually arrived at the Red Cross Hospital YMCA building Swansea. Whilst there, he wrote to his mother saying he weighed about 7 stone, 44 kilos, and he thanked God he was getting better. He went on to say he received the best of attention by all and sundry, and I'm the father of the ward now. All the others have either gone to England or to the convalescent camp, or died. But their places are always quickly filled by new cases. It was said a Scots piper, Donald Fraser, was in Swansea, and learning that Lance Corporal Inglis was once the champion piper of Australia, was lying seriously injured at the YMCA Red Cross Hospital. He promptly decided to see his fellow Scotsman. The two had a brief conversation, but it was difficult for Lance Corporal Inglis because of his critical condition, and yet sufficient to create a warm friendship on both sides. Fraser played the bagpipes for soldiers and others, and the favourite of Lance Corporal Inglis, the flowers of the forest, is said to have cheered the heart and brightened the eyes of the suffering patient. Inglis did not know that he was dying, but when, later on, he felt himself becoming weaker, he asked that, if he should die, the bagpipes be played over his grave. On the 26th January 1916, Lance Corporal Gordon Inglis underwent an operation at the Swansea General Hospital to remove the bullet from his left lung. Unfortunately, he died whilst being operated on. He was 22 years of age. On the 27th January 1916, he was buried at Danagrag Cemetery with full military honours, and on the day of his funeral, the dying soldier's wish was fulfilled when Donald Fraser travelled from Barry to Swansea and together with a number of wounded soldiers paid the tribute of respect to Lance Corporal Inglis, where Donald Fraser played the flowers of the forest on the bagpipes. Lance Corporal Gordon Inglis was awarded the 1914-15 Star, British War Medal and the Victory Medal, which was sent to his mother, Mrs Ladalia Inglis, Railway Crescent, Williamstown, Victoria, Australia, together with a memorial plaque and a memorial scroll. His name is included on the Australian War Memorial. The friend who looked after Lance Corporal Inglis was Sergeant 746 Hugh McGill Blair, 5th Battalion, Australian Infantry, born Stirling, Scotland. He was twice wounded at Gallipoli, sent for recuperation to Manchester, England, and after recoveries, sent to France, where he was killed in action at Pozier on the 27th July 1916. Due to intense fighting, his body was never recovered. Sergeant Blair was awarded the following medals, 1914-15 Star, British War Medal, Australian Victory Medal, Memorial Plaque and Scroll, which were sent to his father, Mr D Blair, Temple Park Crescent, Edinburgh, Scotland. His name is included on the Australian War Memorial.